is ABC Sports, home of the Bowl Championship Series. No candidate has dominated campaign 2000 like Oklahoma. Every vote is a landslide. No matter who's voting, no matter who's counting, no matter how many times they revote, the Sooners are number one. Quarterback Josh Heupel now sits atop the Heisman exit polls. He floats passes like butterflies and follows the arrows straight to the end zone. But welcome to Aggieland. Playing in the shadow of the George Bush Library, the wrecking crew is determined to stop the Oklahoma Victory March. Today, we promise you a decision. And here come the Aggies. A team that dominates at home. The B-1 Bombers roll overhead. NRC Slocum trots onto the field. The number one Oklahoma Sooners, a 10-point favorite at the Texas A&M Aggies. The Big 12 South tells you the story. Texas A&M and Texas both need help in their pursuit of the Sooners. Good afternoon, everybody. Welcome with Gary Danielson. I'm Brad Musburger. Well, Gary, for Oklahoma, it is a four-game march to the Orange Bowl in the national championship. But Sooner fans will tell you, players and coaches, this could be their toughest game left. Well, absolutely, Brent. I mean, this offense and Josh Heupel have been getting all the headlines. But let me give you another headline. They play defense here, too. Bobby Stoops has them going, and he's got two great linebackers to build this defense around. Torrance Marshall, Rocky Kalmus, basically they've been unblockable when you watch them on film. If AM can't handle those guys, they're not going to win this football game. Now, Texas AM has a pretty interesting quarterback, 25 year old. Mark Ferris is the guy. He's the other quarterback in this game. And when you do that, you need the poise of a Mark Ferris. He's very, very heady, has great quarterback presence, and today he has to just do his job. Ignore what's happening, just do his job. The 12th man at Aggieland, the student body. The coach has been firing him up all week. He's with Jack Aru, Jack. And Brent, they are expecting the biggest football crowd ever to watch a football game in the Lone Star State. Coach, how important is the crowd today? It's very important. We've only lost here six times in the last 12 years, and the 12th man has a whole lot to do with that. It's going to be a great day. Well, good luck to you, Coach. All right, thanks, Jack. We'll be back with the opening kickoff from Kyle Field right after this. The Sooners of Oklahoma win the toss and defer. So the Aggies of AM will start first from the 20 yard line with their 25 year old quarterback, Mark Ferris, bringing his team out. And let's check in on our Chili's starting lineup Jamar Toombs, big Jamar Toombs. 12 touchdowns this season and only 86 carries. Robert Ferguson, keep an eye on number six's ankle and knee, both injured last week. Torrance Marshall and Rocky Kalmus, the two linebackers that Gary told you about at the top. And Roy Williams, the hard-hitting, strong safety for the Sooners in that secondary. Ferris now brings the Aggie offense to the line of scrimmage. This offensive line, Seth McKinney, one-time high school teammate, a Purdue quarterback, Drew Brees, anchors this line, matched against the defensive line, and the Aggie assistants telling us, 94, Ryan Fisher, the left tackle for the Sooners, could be very tough for them to block here today, so we'll... Goins again, they'll fake it, and Ferris rolls hard to the right, on the run, throws complete. And there is number nine, Bethel Johnson, with a 14-yard gain and an Aggie first down. Mark Ferris's wife, the lovely Neosha Ferris, holding their baby. Four-year-old daughter Cameron watching Pops operate this offense now on the first series of the game against the Oklahoma Sooners. Ferris Solutions, what AM has to do to really win this game, they have to jar him with Jamar Toombs. He has big games, 86 yards and three touchdowns against Kansas State, and they got to find those two linebackers if they have any chance. Oklahoma's defense will make big plays. They have 24 turnovers, 
and always they want to harass that quarterback. First and 15, three wideouts out to Ferris's left from the shotgun. Here's an option look. Whitaker is stuffed, and a great hit that time by Roy Williams, the strong safety. We have passing down for the Aggies. They deploy four wideouts. They throw underneath. Ferguson makes his first catch, and he is down at the 37-yard line almost back to the original line of scrimmage so it'll be third and long coming up for the Aggies. Robert Ferguson is the go-to guy. He's the only receiver that has put on more than a hundred yards in a game. Slightly injured. He's got his ankle taped. Slot to the wide side for the Aggies. Good protection for the first down. Incomplete. Had his man and misfires and the offensive line gave Mark Ferris a lot of quality time lineup with Josh Hypo pulling the trigger and Quentin Griffin his fine running back number 22 has scored 13 touchdowns a host of talented wide receivers we'll see all of them before long in this game Jason Glenn he's the linebacker and the brother of the defensive back with the New York Jets Michael Jamison the only veteran back in that secondary again three wide receivers then they send a back out into the formation and Heifel throws complete to the near sideline. Makes his first catch of the game for 14 yards. The offensive line of OU, which has done an outstanding job, giving Heifel plenty of time here this season, matched against this Aggie defensive line, and they'll try to come up big. And they're going to sit down often in a four-man defensive line rather than three-man. Coach Stoops on the OU sideline, leading candidate for coach of the year. 26-yard line. Fagan in motion, and they run Griffin. And Griffin is out to the 31-yard line with Cornelius Anthony making the stop. So Josh Heupel, the leading Heisman contender now from Aberdeen, South Dakota, which among other things is the pheasant hunting capital of the world. So far in this game, defensively. Now the corners back off against Hypo. He'll come underneath. Fires complete, short of the first down, and a great tackle by Royland Bradley, the linebacker who drilled the receiver that time. That you want to control that front four or front three, whatever it is, and force them into a blitz, distribute the ball around to dominate. That's been the game plan. The front four for Anna must win, and I think they need three turnovers to win this game. Third down and three. Heifel, plenty of time, flares it, Griffin drops it. Oh, you forced a punt. 21, Jay Brooks, he's blocked three punts. He's down in a defensive tackle spot. Adam is blocked! Blocked! Out of bounds! And Jay Brooks comes through and blocks his fourth punt of the year! Everybody knew where he was! The grip. I circled it right there. He comes around, a little stunt, right up the middle. A little stunt, a little crisscross, confuses the Oklahoma blocking, and he gets it right there in the right arm. They'll motion, Toome stays back in the backfield. Play fake, Ferris keeps it, and not fooled that time was Michael Thompson, who came off the corner for OU, made a nice play. Motion in behind, there's Toomes battling, and OU was ready. Marshall among those, along with Corey Callens, number 92, they come up big. And the one thing we're seeing here, Gary, a very fierce hitting OU defense oh, right now. OU holding after the block punt. Fade to the corner, contact, penalty flag thrown. There was contact as Robert Ferguson was hit by Thompson near the goal line. To the outside, you'll see it. Thompson off, balls in the air right now, and Thompson has to jam him or there will be a completion for a touchdown. Pass interference on the defense. 
It'll be a spot foul and an automatic first down. Randy Crystal. It becomes first and goal. Now don't bet against big number five. He'll set up as a fullback. Jamal Toons is in the fullback spot. Short of the goal line, and again, OU was ready. Ramon Richardson, number 91, the first to hit him. But it's going to be a tough option. Ferris, touchdown, Aggies strike first. Keeper all in the same point right there. Ferris gets the six points, but you might as well give Jay Brooks at least half of them because he set it up. Brent. Here's that girl here in Aggieland. <laughs> A 10 point underdog strikes first because of Jay Brooks, who has now blocked four punts this season. Number 21 sets it up. And then the 25 year old quarterback. The one-time third baseman in the Pittsburgh Pirates organization takes it in, and the Aggies lead number one by seven. Timeout. Snapshot of the 12th man that began in 22. Went from the student body to the field. Always wears the number 12 jersey. And our young man today, Eric Stanford. Hypel flares on first down, and the Aggies are all over Josh Norman, the receiver that time. A four-man front, four-down lineman. Pressure blitz, Heupel down the middle, deep, got Norman in a foot race, stumbling down inside the 15-yard line. No one faces a blitz any better than Josh Heupel. And right down the gut here, watch the end man. This is the defensive end, but watch, he'll drop. It's actually a zone blitz look. And when you give that quarterback time to throw the ball, Heupel, even though he's got a guy in his face, Nobody's more accurate than this guy throwing the ball, Brent. No one in college football. It helps set up our storyline today. Heibel ran for a touchdown. He also passed to tight end Trent Smith for a touchdown. Oklahoma 51, Texas A&M 6. The Aggies have not forgotten. Probably went the wrong direction. He had a better situation to the top of the field better than the bottom of the field. Now, Gary, let's see what he can come up with here on third down and 10. Flushed from the pocket in a foot race. Throws incomplete. And the 12th man makes it tough on Heupel and the Sooners. They will attempt a field goal. I mean, here it is, a 31-yarder. Got it. Nice answer by Oklahoma. The long pass from Heupel to Norman set it up. But the Sooners settle for a field goal. Notice how much quieter that crowd in the end zone is when the Aggies have the football. Front four. Forced to punt. And the front four again broke down the offensive line. Corey Klein, number 93 from Tulsa, makes the play. Thatcher will field this one at the 35-yard line. He's really dangerous. He is brought down by the punter, Cody Skates. An 18-yard return, but did you see how the punter, that young man right there, took on one of the best return men in the country? He met him right in the hole, ladies. And they're bringing a tight end in with three wide receivers off to the left. Heupel is going to throw it back to his tight end this time, and Trent Smith, who dropped that one, hangs on this time and crosses the 35-yard line. Trenton Griffin. Back in for OU. Second down. Inside shovel passes a beauty. And Griffin breaks for the end zone. No down at the six yard line. What a great play by Heupel. He let the rush man get right on top of him before he flipped it to his running back. Heupel can do the quarterback draw if he wants. In trouble. Scampering left and still looking for help. Now fire. Zone. Got it for the touchdown. Curtis 
Chris Fagan, a seven-yard catch. Earlier, so OU leads Texas A&M 10-7. Now, Curtis Fagan with four catches here today. Keeps on working in the end zone till he gets free. Gets bumped. Makes the catch. OU leads it. Timeout. Snap count. He reads the coverage. Then he avoids the pass rush. Now watch this. Watch him direct his receivers. Go the other way. Go against the grain. Then he delivers the ball and the points. That's why you've got a team that can average those amount of points. Josh Heupel did it all on that one. Heupel going to run out of it. Now fire back for the first down. Hey, Smith. The tight end on the run. Coach Josh Heupel is dangerous right. every second. He's got the ball in his hand. Down and five. Straight back. Got time on the run. Short, I believe, of the first down. I believe he was just short of the mark. And let's go quick. And the Aggies know. Here he comes and they hit him. Now they pull him back. I don't think he made it. The Aggies were ready for that maneuver. Heifel up under center on a quick count to sneak for it. And Brian Gamble, the inside linebacker from Alto, Texas, says, no way this time. Down, but this time, as Heifel goes high, Gamble puts his helmet right on the number 14 in the face mask. There he is, one guy low, one guy high. And obviously, that ball never made it across for the first down. Hit his first two. Since then, he's been struggling. That inside hand up, big man, Toons explodes for almost nine yards on first down. Heineke, number 89. So if they get him rumbling and running downhill, could get a little tougher. Two. Ferris to fire. Middle incomplete. And the penalty flag is thrown again as Bethel Johnson. Yeah, Michael Thompson grabbed Bethel Johnson that time. He 20 yard line. Uh, I, I get to go second like this. Like, yeah. <laughs> this is uh, your yeah. style to win. Uh, yeah, I, it was so short and they probably felt so confident. But watch the top of the screen, they're going to get a grab right there. Just as he's beat, his right arm just grabs number nine, Bethel Johnson, and that ball. You see it, Bethel saying, I could have had that one. Left. Joe Weber the is the running back. And here is Weber. Did not surprise Torrance Marshall, number 10, who made the stop. Second down and 11. <laughs> Here's that in the round. Chris Taylor spins away, fumbles out of bounds, Aggie football. Ball went out of bounds on the fumble. During the regular season, won the national championship. Folks, you got all the way back, all the way back to 1974. They were 11 and 0. Barry Switzer's second year as head coach in Norman. You would have thought that they would have done that in the 80s. Right. With some of those great teams. They, 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 they lost the game early in '85, I remember, and ended up. But Barry was a young guy back then, wasn't he? Oh, look at him. Huh? <laughs> 73 the first year, and then the next year they go all the way and win the national championship. A little bit different style than what we're seeing here today. With four, they now face a third and nine. He recovered his own fumble and went right back down on it. Rocky Kalmus that time, number 20, came off the corner, and you're right. They need 18 yards. I'm surprised that when it's dead downwind, I think they could be killed. Gets set, fires in zone. Incomplete. Oklahoma football. You could see the coverage right down there with Michael Thompson, number 19. And the powerful OU Sooners back on the attack. Griffin, the receiver, to the 40-yard line. Full spot and perhaps a date with Josh Heupel in OU. Middle, intercepted, picked off by Jason Glenn. And Jason Glenn is inside the 35-yard line. He's backing up. Here's Jason Glenn. Instead of rushing this time, 
he drops. He's their best pass rusher, but Hankowitz changes it up, and Josh Heupel never sees the drop defensive end. He thinks it's going to be an easy completion to Josh Norman, and Glenn backs up just like Big Brother and gets a pickoff. That's not the only pass he has intercepted. First down and 10, and now can Ferris and the Aggies do anything? Completed pass that time to Ferguson. And three. The Aggies must reach the 24-yard line. Ferris to throw for it. He's got it underneath this time. First down. Robert Ferguson hangs on. Yeah, he had inside the 25-yard line for Ferris and the Aggies. There's that roll again, and this time he throws, complete to Richard Whitaker, the running back. So college football on ABC is one. Fake to Toombs, option look. And OU not being fooled at all as Kalmus, number 20, came over on Whitaker that time to make the tackle for the loss. You know, field goal range here if they should fail to make the first. Ferris fires for it, incomplete. They want a flag, and they're not going to get it. Great combo coverage to the outside. They played four on three. Ago, most of them low. He's 13 of 60. This for the tie. 37 yards. Got it. Number one, Oklahoma 10, Texas A&M 10. Timeout. Coming in, the ball's put right there. Fagan catches it, gets hit, coughs it up, and Jameson ends up with the football. The fourth time that I can remember, Brent, that AM is going to start their series. Ferris now 6 of 14 for 42 yards. Going to pump fake fire sideline, got him wide open. Comes to number nine, Bethel Johnson, his best throw of the game. Absolutely. What hard. A little hitch, a little go, now gun it. Ferris guns it in there before the safety enters the picture, and that's exactly how you have to throw the ball. Because he was a third baseman. Exactly. Now Ferris rolls right. Uh -oh. In a foot race, gets rid of it, and gets it complete to Whitaker. For the 10-yard line, a salvage job by Mark Ferris. Mark Ferris is obviously getting more comfortable. Steve Craig down, and first and 10 is brought to you by Quest. And they pounded for the first down with Big Jamar Toombs. Brent, you say Big Jamar Toombs, but it's been him getting smaller that has allowed him to be a more effective running back. For Toons again. He wants it. He wants it to the three-yard line. The big fellow wants the ball in his hands. You can just tell by his body language. Jack. Quick snap in zone. Touchdown. Texas AM on a beautiful throw to Robert Ferguson. Well, he's dropped the easy ones and caught the hard one. Still 19 seconds, and remember Thatcher and the rest of the Sooners know how to return kickoffs. Fade pass for the touchdown to the wide receiver. Now we go to Jack Aru. Jack? Coach, a couple of costly turnovers. Uh, that's it. Uh, we're uh, turnovers on offense and a block punt. And defensively, we played well outside of uh, two third and longs. We've given up two touchdowns. On Two touchdowns on third and long just by not playing the football. So, do you think you got to settle them down a little bit at halftime? Yeah, probably. Uh, you know, as bad as we've played, we're only down seven. So, uh, uh, there's no question. Offensively, we just need to calm down and get it going a little bit. Thanks, coach. All right, thanks. Well, Oklahoma trailing Texas A&M 17-10, and Gary Danielson, what about the Sooners? They're making a lot of mistakes. Well, Bobby Stoops at halftime has to tell his team, we've met the enemy, it is us. They're not doing anything different than what we thought. 
Let's forget about the score, forget about number one, and just do fundamental football and see if we can win this football game. Well, there is a big development regarding Texas A&M. Let's go quickly to Jack Aru. Jack? Yeah, Brent, their standout sophomore cornerback, Sammy Davis, is out. He has strained ligaments in his left ankle. I talked to R.C. Slocum, and he says it's created a problem. He says he's going to move Jonte Buell, who's a true freshman, over to that position. He's really going to hurt us. Eisman, trophy, exit polls, if you will, hands it off on first down, and Griffin battles to the 21-yard line, a pickup of eight yards. Dog fight, second down. Griffin. And he is jumped by Royland Bradley, an outside linebacker. He's the end, third and one, and now Heupel elects to change it up with a hand signal. Got it off. Lobs the fade, incomplete. And a penalty flag is thrown on the play against the defender. To the outside, it's going to Curtis Fagan. Now watch Weston, never turns around, never looks, and that's interference. If he'd have jumped and turned, he would have got away with it, and that's the technique he should have used. I think that's a good call. So the 15-yard penalty and the automatic first down. The ball comes to the Sooners, 38-yard line. Heupel, middle, dime interception. And the Aggies have the second interception of the game and the third OU turnover. As Terrence Keel, a strong safety from Lufkin, Texas, makes the pick. Blocked the punt. First down for the Aggies and two rumbles. First down, Texas A&M on a powerful run for 12 yards. Booms. Jarum with Jamar. And right now the pit, the offensive line, those guys are running that fast. Defensive front seven of Oklahoma. College Station, first and ten. Short drop, Ferris snaps it off. Complete to Chris Taylor, who crosses the 30-yard line. Ferris gets time, fires wide open. And down at the five-yard line, Robert Ferguson forward progress is stopped, and he was wide open for 23 yards. Here's Toons. Still battling to almost the two-yard line before he is stopped by the Sooners. Then goal from inside the one-yard line. Toons is at tailback now. Here he is. Touchdown, Texas A. Celebrating right now. So the third Oklahoma turnover of this game. Keel with the pick. And the Aggies drive down for the touchdown. Jamar Toombs to the end zone. 24-10. Timeout. They're absolutely in Austin. We wouldn't miss that one. First down and 10. And here is Toons, and speaking of big ones. I played in Cleveland at night in January and December. <laughs> you can handle it. <laughs> Third down and 12. Fires intercepted. There is his first interception of the game. Michael Thompson gives OU a life here. Michael Thompson really read this play and beat the receiver to the spot. Read the play, he knows it's going to be a post, and he just beats the receiver to the spot. The quarterback has to depend on that receiver to get in front of the defender on that play. He's anticipating the throw. Inside handoff to Griffin, who breaks free. Just short of the 50, and let me remind you now. Hypo quick. Pass to the outside, they get the first down, put it in the hands of Antoine Savage. So 
So they're on the move here, Gary. And Sammy Davis out with an injury. And Heifel looking, couldn't find him, and now throws underneath. First down, OU coming to a secondary receiver, Matt Anderson, the tight end, to some pickup by Heifel. I really love quarterbacks that handle adversity. Coming across this time, you got a guy that's thrown an interception over the middle. He's made mistakes, but what does he do? Runs out again and says, hey, if we're going to move the ball, i got to throw it. I'm the only one that can do it. I'm going to have to live with some mistakes. Play. Here it they come. Heifel the lob at middle. Caught inside the 10-yard line by Antoine Savage. Gary, I'll repeat it. No quarterback I've seen this year is better in the face of a blitz than Josh Heupel. That for 22 yards. Gets the post, same play that he called against Nebraska. You throw it up. Now watch the receiver. Shield, shield, shield. Catch the ball. Perfect job. Just put it up safely where you're in. Aggies eight-yard line. This guy is very difficult to blitz. Waits for someone to break free. Incomplete. Intended for Andre Wolfo. Number 17, and they were going to work. Checking the, all of the different plays available to him. Holding on the defense. The hold occurred on an eligible receiver. Half the distance to the goal. Automatic first down. Now, line up right behind Heifel. They fake it to him. Heifel's going to throw it. Incomplete. They're running in that direction with the wide receiver. A penalty flag is thrown. And we're going to get holding on that pulling guard, whoever it was. You'll be able to check it out on the run it by is Josh Norman. Romero, number 63, that just grabs his guy and won't let his linebacker, Bradley, turn around and make the play. And Bradley has played very well here today, and uh, that's certainly one way to stop him from making another play is running it in that direction. A tough penalty for Oklahoma. Brings the ball back to the 17-yard line. It'll be third down and goal. So if they miss here from this spot, they'll go for the field goal. And him sets in the zone. The crowd rocking. Here's Heifel. Going to throw short and see what they got with Savage. Nothing going. Down at the 10-yard line, Antoine Savage. And he is tackled by Evan Peroni. Eric Fletcher is the holder. And he's got it. Well, Commissioner, I want to thank you a lot for dropping by. Good luck the rest of the way with the Big 12. It's really been exciting. Thanks, Brad. You guys do a great job. The and Thomas more's ahead of us. 24-13. The Aggies lead it. Timeout. Make, make a play if you can here. This is uh, the third down. And uh, we asked Mark, uh, what's it like when you go home to your daughter? Here's what he said. Well, she doesn't care about football. You know, I'm just her dad. And, that, you know, that's what's great about it to me. Uh, I can have a bad game or a bad practice or a bad week. And, you know, it doesn't matter to her. I'm still going to be her dad. And that's what makes it special for me is that, you know, it takes a little pressure off, I think. Yes, Mark. But Cameron says get the first down, Daddy. Going long. Got an open man. And he overthrew Bethel Johnson. The defender had slipped, folks. It's Cody Skates. Trying to drive it out, and Thatcher looking for field position. It'll be a short field for Heifel. He'll work from the Aggies' 42-yard line, a 38-yard punt with an 8-yard return. So that's only a net of 30 yards here. And 13, 30 seconds remaining in the third quarter. Josh Heifel and the Sooners ready to go back to work. Heifel keeps it on the run. Down at the 33-yard line. Very second down and two for the top rank, the blitz. In the round, and they cut the blitz off that open corner. First down. Curtis Fagan from Houston, Texas, coming around, and the blitzing linebacker, Jay Brooks, was caught up in the traffic. 13 yards. 
comes Griffin, squirts into the secondary end zone. Touchdown, Oklahoma! Everybody's thinking wide, flow goes one way. The little guy comes out the other way, and Griffin takes it right into the end zone again. Jamison, who had intercepted a pass, missed the tackle that time in the secondary. We got a timeout. The Sooners are right back in it. Back. Anyway, here it comes. Here's Heifel. Got time. Looking open. Man, got him. I prefer to go for two. <laughs> uh, it was Matt Anderson, the tight end. I'm just a one-point guy, you know. One at a time. One at a time. 24, 21. Bob Stoops is a big-time guy on defense. Why? Well, he goes all the way back. He traces his roots back to Iowa. Whereas an Iowa Hawkeye, watch number 41 interception. That's Bob Stoops. They say he was the hardest hitter among the Iowa defensive backs. Finished his career with 205 total tackles. 10 interceptions, a much younger Bobby Stoops then. Oklahoma in the second half, they won for 65 yards. Short drop, going to throw incomplete, and they are yelling at the officials on that far side. They are absolutely living. Stoops is on the field. He said there was 12 men on the field. They must have brought a 12th man out late. He is living. Right. What it was was they broke the heart of the 12th man. That's what he thought. It's a Here's the Whitaker breaks free. Still going to the 35. A first down before Marshall could bring Richard Whitaker down on a fine run. His best of the day. Breakdown in this defense, a lot of motion. Kalmus gets blocked, but there's the linebacker right in the hole. You depend on that guy to make the play. That's an excellent run that time by Richard Whitaker, the freshman. On first down, Ferris is going to throw it. Man, beautiful catch on the near sideline as Mark Ferris hits Ferguson, and he showed you his skill for 29 yards. Folks, remember. Quarterback drop. Dives. I believe he may have just gotten the first down. Ferris put it down. The linesman will spot it, and then they will measure for it. You could tell from the yellow line that his knees came down just in front of it. Don't great we all like that? Great perspective of on the field. About a football short. Now, fourth down, you got to go here, right, Gary? I, I think you do. You're kicking into you're, the wind. And you've got tombs. And you've got tombs and make the tackle. Don't jump to the snap count either. So a couple of tight ends you can see down there. Seth McKinney, number 77, is a very good offensive shot. Oklahoma in a tight goal line. Here's Toons for the first down. Breaks free. Still on his feet. Toons still badly. Toons. Toons. Oh, my goodness. Oh, my goodness. Touchdown. You talk about a tombstone. 27 yards. And he made a buried OU. a football they get a football field and six points tombs who plays big in big games 86 against kansas state carries across the whole oklahoma defense for a tremendous run brent adds another one the aggies love it and you got to love a young man, Toombs. He's had a little problem with marijuana in his background, with alcohol in his background, but he straightened out his life. And ladies and gentlemen, this run is worth a couple of million when you go to play on Sunday afternoon. The balance, the power, the determination, the package you love. And Jamar's mother enjoying every moment of it. Aggie 
He's leading by 10, but a lot of time left for Josh Heupel. Time's moments ago. Real ecstatic there, folks, but I think you get the idea. It was plenty exciting. Here's Griffin searching daylight, and Griffin comes right back to the 31-yard line. You know, Gary, there is absolutely plenty of time. Oh, yeah. Second down and one. He's got the double screen down here. Got Griffin again. Trying to battle for the first down, and he's got it. That left defensive end may have broken as Heupel got through him on the outside. He's at the scrimmage line, crosses it, keeps it, <laughs> and then steps out at the first down marker. What a slick run by Josh Heupel. 11.43 to go. Undefeated and number one ranked Oklahoma trailing Texas a and by 10 as Josh Heupel. Fires first down at the Aggie 41-yard line. Savage's helmet comes off after a 14-yard game. A 41. Hypo. Pressure to the right. Going to take it out of bounds for a loss as Flemons went hard after him and the exit polls for the Heisman Trophy. And on second down, he'll throw it in underneath. Jump the tight end, Trent Smith, and Jason Glenn, who was injured on the play. Jack Aroot, what's the latest? Well, Brett, the preliminary indication from the athletic trainer is that it is a sprained knee. They're going to continue to evaluate it. They have said they have not totally removed him from the game. They hope to patch him up and get him back in later. I find that a little hard to believe. <laughs> and a huge play for both sides. A three-man rush. Hypo fires near side, out of bounds, I believe, or did he catch it? They mark it that he caught it. He was in the air for the first down. This is some play by Antoine Savage. The Big 12 dropped his back leg back as he caught it. Up in the air, just taps oh, down his left play. What a beautiful catch. play. What a beautiful play. His left foot, he goes up, has the presence to know he's close, concentrates at two things, and gets the left toe down. Perfect. Eight, nine yards for a first down. Hyper. Fires for it to the 20-yard line, short of the first down. Six yards. And he puts it right back in the hands of Fagan again, who crosses the 15-yard line. Don't get closer this time, or you can still settle for the field goal and play for the touchdown the next time, if they stop the Aggies. Here's the 14th play of this drive. Must reach the four-yard line for a first down. Hyper. Time sprints left. He's going to keep it on the run. Dives for the first down. He's got the first down for Oklahoma. It's first and goal. Checks the D. Here's Griffin. Touchdown, Oklahoma. Hang on, everybody. This is going to be another of those finishes in college football plays, and they took five minutes and 53 seconds, and now they're going to need the ball back. It's time. Just give it to Griffin. Great up, great blocking up front. The offensive line just rooted him out. Griffin goes in practically untouched. Bubba Burcham, number 59, really sealed off inside the outstanding center. Throw. Big games. We've had a number of big games through this year, and, and our players really uh, uh, enjoy that atmosphere and, and are relaxed in it and are, are really excited about being in, in the middle of it and competing. And that gives them a little bit of an advantage. They have been in the environment, perhaps not as noisy. And this, for those of you who just checked in to watch the end of this, Oklahoma, ranked number one and unbeaten, has just pulled to within three as Griffin breaks across for his second touchdown of the day. He has rushed for 69 yards. Oklahoma has 363 total yards. 
and A&M 246. A&M now in need of a rally. Intercepted. Marshall picks it off. The big linebacker. Still going. Touchdown, touchdown. Oklahoma regains the lead as Torrance Marshall from Miami picks it off and runs it in. 41 yards. And Aggie land just a little bit quieter than it has been for the last couple of hours as OU leads it. 35-31. Marshall is in here. It's the same defense that Oklahoma's been playing all day. Safety's deep. The linebacker's going to drop right into the play. Ferris never saw Marshall who faded inside. Ferris lost sight of him, and then Mark Ferris misses the tackle right at the end of the play right there. He could have saved his team by making the play, and Wait Marshall walks right into the end zone. Kalmus gets some credit for pushing. Well, you thought he missed the tackle? I thought he could have made the play. There he is right there. Drops right into the play. Quarterback kind of jogs over on the play. And the one linebacker, Ferris, sees the play. Does not see the linebacker when he lets it go. And there's the linebacker making one of those athletic plays that they're so good at. They never leave the field. Now watch Ferris as he comes over, trying to help out defensively. Getting set, and Kalmus just pushes him out of bounds. Yep. Does that count? That counts, but I think he could have gone in there a lot harder. He was kind of giving it the job. To shake off that last pass. They come back with twos, and the OU defense fired up right now with Ryan Fisher. And a field goal certainly won't help now in the last six and a half minutes. Ferris and the Aggies down four. Sign incomplete. He threw a high to Robert Ferguson and uh, reception. I wonder if they got rough in the pass around this one. Oh, would that be a huge call? Yes, it is. Oh. Ah, now he's forced from the pocket on the run. Lobs. Caught. Midfield. Greg Porter. Great play by Porter. They trail it by four. First down and ten. Set into Rod Affairs. Going to throw off the look. Yes, right from the second. Jump. Affairs from the gun. Got his receiver. Trying to break free. Gain a few more yards. And he is out of bounds, though. Stop, they say. Stop short of the 40 yard line where they must reach for a first down. Shotgun, and that's big Toombs right off to the quarterback's left. He gets the call. Toombs barreling. Toombs first down inside the 35-yard line. Kalmus and Marshall, the two linebackers. As Everidge goes out, sooner or later, they're going to get you. Kalmus and Marshall, great anticipation of plays, absolutely athletic. They adapt. They can run nickel or regular. And they've been accountable all year. They show up every game. Here's Ferris. Goes deep and high. Caught at the 10 yard line by you know who, Robert Ferguson. Checks in for this play. He's got the handoff, and Weber to the four-yard line, where it will be third down for the Aggies right there. Ferris to throw for it, incomplete. Remember, a field goal won't help him. It's fourth down. Fourth down, incomplete. Chris Taylor, the intended receiver. OU takes over on downs. All they need to do now is kill three minutes. The Aggies are without Glenn. They're without Davis on that defense. And here comes Griffin, who has one for two scores today. Who had a remarkable touchdown run in this game. He's their MVP. And Torrance Marshall, number 10. Backfield by Cornelius Anthony. A 
Aggie show blitz. From the end zone, drops it off. It's complete. Savage, no first down. OU is forced to punt. What a play by Jay, Jay Brooks. Brooks. What a Locked play. And punt. Comes up with a huge Woo, tackle. What a play. Green. And watch number 21 just pop into the play from the bottom of the screen. I partially blocked. Field position coming up for the Aggies. It was touched at the 43. So Texas A&M with Bethel Johnson partially blocking the punt the second time that the Aggies have rolled in on a punt. <laughs> Ferris goes deep. Jump ball, second and ten on the incompletion. Ferguson defended by Jones. Three wideouts off to the left for Ferris. Comes back to the right side. Right through <laughs> the hands. <laughs> through the hands of Derek wow. Strait. <laughs> Third down and ten for the Aggies. Sacked. Fourth down as Roy Williams, the strong safety, sacks Ferris. Safety's going to come from the left side. Ferris is going to look right, never sees him, and there's a huge play. Prior to the snap, now, substitution remember, infraction, yeah. breaking the huddle with more than 12. Remember when Stoops lobbied hard over there on the sideline against that earlier. Yep. Well, Oklahoma has kept it together. There's his back. Caught. No first down. Oh, you will win it. They got 15 yards back. Inside, Porter gets it and come up and make the tackle, and now you can take a knee. And the oranges fly for the centers. Oklahoma. Oklahoma pulls it out. Marshall with an interception dashes in for the winning touchdown. So this time, a big A to the OU defense. RC and Stoops meeting in midfield. And remember, Tiger Woods is coming up next. 35-31, ABC Sports Online at ESPN.com. Keyword ABC, college football. For Jack Aroot and Gary Danielson, I'm Brent Musburger. So long, everybody. This has been a presentation of ABC Sports. First of all, congratulations. That was a close one. Great game. Texas A&M's an excellent football team, and uh, we're very fortunate. You know, the turnovers we had, they played well, made plays, and... Fortunately, we came up with more here in the second half to win the game, and that interception by Torrance Marshall to, to get us ahead was just exceptional. Is that what turned the game around, in your opinion? Sure it was, to put us ahead. Now, again, our players, too, they, uh, let's, uh, what character to keep, hold in there, to, to keep their poise, and we told them it'd probably go down to the last series, and it did, and uh, to win this way in a great team and environment like this is great. Coach, they say that a team takes on the character of its coach. Do you agree with that? Because you never quit. Well, I tell you, I don't, I don't, uh, I don't want to talk about me. The players deserve the credit, and uh, and uh, I'm blessed to have a great group of players to work with. Go celebrate. Thank you, Jack. Appreciate it.